Hi guys, it's Aegis here. So today I'm here uh, with another like different kind of video. This time I'm actually uh, trying to look into different uh, Sorger builds that is uh, currently available during the past week or two. Uh, we do have the WGP Deluxe on uh, Yokohama. So there are quite a few Sorger list tops uh, that I will be showing you guys on those. And uh, also there are like different kinds of soccer mask list that is being available uh, on Twitter. So I'm also covering those and uh, well, kind of sharing my thoughts on the idea that uh, I, of course I'm not the actual deck builder. So I might not be able to reflect every single bit that they are actually planning for. But I think can give you some reference if you're looking into building a Sorger Mask deck um, when English release or you are also playing the JP version that you are uh, looking for some list for reference I think these will be uh, something that you can look for uh, because I myself is also like working on my own Sorger list um, that I still need to do some testing because the new Sorger Mask uh, actually involve a lot of different uh, thought process as I would say um that you play a kind of a different game while being the same uh what the same is some uh stuff that you you normally do will still be applying to your soccer mask but then your mindset uh when is the timing to go very aggressive or when is the timing to actually um, use your mask because it counts as a person right if you go basically second when your opponent is on grade 3 and you have chance to just get into a personal right turn to do a big turn and usually that can be your kill turn but that's sometimes of course that that is not happening and sometimes you are going first but you might still want to actually use the mask because with Soga mask that as long as you do a Elka magic then your front row will just get 10k so it's kind of like having a person right but without the actually extra 10k on a person right buff to actually become 20k instead of just 10k um so yeah there's a lot of things that actually change your game plan change how you build the deck change how you look into uh, again a lot of things so uh, let's go over the first list and we can discuss this further so this list is uh from nanao so this is the one that being shown on the recent jp vanguard live stream weekly live stream that uh when people just use the hashtag uh vanguard deck introductions or like some kind of keyword like that in jp that you they will just look into different lists and just pick something to show you guys and this is what we got shown and it's a Sorger list, of course, that is using the Red Sorger, right? So a lot of people are actually going for the blue ones, which of course you will be seeing quite a few uh, in the list that I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But this time, this one is a red. And uh, also you can see here that, uh, of course, there's no extra personal right of the Red Sorger. So it's all depending on the Sorger mask. There's two masks, four of the Prison Dragon, uh, four of the Shadow Cloak, and then these are all orders already to the PGs, to uh, the triggers. So there's no key kill at all. So the kill is the grade two 5K that you can pop it up uh, whenever you uh, have a Sorger mask finger at the text and you have a uh, Dragon Tree marker, you can kind of blast one pop the unit that is on the dragon tree marker and then bring that back right uh, of course there's also a cow that i haven't count into uh, the actual units but it's there uh, so you can see this list is focusing on free attacks just free attacks so uh what you don't need to worry about is when are you going to get your Q in so that you just keep waiting and it's not coming or the issue that you uh, need to 
have a dragon tree marker in order to make that hap make this happen because for dragon tree marker creations you only can rely on the cow or you can only rely on the grade 2 i think it's eolith uh, i just call it the grade 2 dragon tree thing to make it simple uh, because the name is sometimes hard to pronounce so there's only two ways you can get there the cow is easy that you can kind of blast one to get the dragon tree marker but the grade 2 you need to kind of blast one and soul blast one those are actually quite heavy resources for a Sogar deck. Even though it picked you up a mask that you can use, but if your game plan is to like just I'm not going to use the mask for the search, but only for to jump right, then what you need to do is only drop it through Shadow Cloak. Or even if you get it in hand, you can just stitch it with your uh, Ranger Chain to draw a card. Uh, of course, you can pick it back up, but you do have other choices if you kind of do um, so the mask might not actually be a card that you will be playing from hand maybe just maybe because in the end it's still a kind of a free order because you just need to declare you're using it you need to counter blast you don't need to soul blast you don't need to reveal anything you don't need to discard anything just play it right so it's still a good alchemy magic uh, part for you that is being a no cost so yeah uh but this deck is focusing on making free attacks and let's look into orders uh, this one is the promo version of the tears tearful malice so it is needed of course because we need counter blast we need soul blast and we need ways to actually kill our prison dragon especially when you don't have the kill at all so uh it's there and then miasma uh this one is not only helping you out when you're on mask it's also helping you out when you're on red soldier because the combination of both when we do alchemy magic will just be a plus 10k to the front row so it's kind of doing the same thing here but with red soldier of course you need to remember you need to actually soul blast one this card one card in order to actually be able to do alchemy magic the pickup stuff is another part but without using that skill you can't do any alchemy magic. I did face uh, matches that I don't have soul, but I just need to. I can only play one order, and that kind of slows down my play. So uh, do be careful on that. And then uh, Yi rendering souls. Um, so I, you, since he's doing free attack, so he's very heavy on getting extra drive checks. And because you do have the cow, if your resources are kind of flexible. Then you keep picking up orders to ditch with your Yi rendering souls. And then uh, two of the Frozen Resentment, I think that's what it's called. Uh, so it's the Soul Blast one, look at top three, ditch one, and then call one back order. So um, that, of course, is uh, a less power spiritual body condensation while being able to generate a better quality drop zone so it's still there but do note that what you can actually play are the are these this these ones and this this one do have a limitation because you need to drop an order and sometimes you might not have that so this might actually be the card that you send through shadow cloak right so uh, of course, it's depending on the situation, and it's uh, you can see this build is actually focusing on the draw trigger instead of a front trigger. Uh, so I think because he's running so many uh, e rendering souls, he's want to use draw instead of front to increase the chances that he can get a better, better hand size, and then use the uh, triple drive to keep increasing the hand size to just survive, right? So. Uh, yeah, so I think that's basically it we need to tell about this deck is uh, that it can go full aggressive by just keep getting a lot of cards in hand, doing multiple, multiple like triple drive, uh, focusing on free attacks, making them big, and just win from there, right? So now let's go over quite a few uh, deluxe lists. 
So this is one of those. Uh, you can see the deck code here. If you really want to, you can just go search for it. Uh, but uh, do remember it's the JP one. So if you are typing the code, make sure you go to the Japanese deck lock to find these out. Yeah, so this one is a blue solar build. And you can see the key is here. And then you can see the grade two dragon tree is here and not using the grade one uh, cow. And also very interesting that there is no great one in your main deck at all. Great one units. Yeah, so your hanger chain is in your right deck and it's basically the only one that you will be uh, picking up as a booster. Uh, but the rest is just relying on the front row. But he's also using draw and not using front. Um, so that is a very interesting build that you just adjust your power to the front line and just rely on that but you do have the fourth attack um and then you have this one to actually generate you the dragon tree marker but the weak point with this kind of build is if this didn't goes into your hand or when you play your mask you can't search any of your soga mask then you basically stop but that's the good point of using the blue soccer. Because with blue soccer, what you need to do is just be stable. And because this card allows you to just do Elka Magic without any cost, compared to Red Soga that you need a Soul Blast one to actually and this this card card to actually make that happen, you have more flexibility to actually do your Elka Magic. And it's a lot easier. And uh because you probably won't be staying on Blue Soccer for long and then you go into Mars so uh, that probably won't be hurting you that much and then with the order cards he's playing free Mask one of the Miasma uh, for the great one of this and then two of the tier 4 Malice uh, so it's there is a high chance that actually he's doing Elka Magic of the same order based on like the mask and this uh, but not trying to increase the drive check I think because just make things more simple while he have four attacks uh, you don't need to rely on extra drive check that much you just go into setting up your board making sure you have the right cards in your drop zone basically the prison dragon at the key then you will just uh, be ready yeah so not too much we need to say about this list I think it's uh, only like the order set up and no great ones let's go into the next one okay so this one is also a blue soccer build um, but compared to the previous one that using four uh, normal heals you can see here is actually using the counter plus critical uh heal because there are a lot of decks that are actually increasing crits right now including asoga himself with the prison dragons including like drag drill that you will just get uh extra crit and those are decks that can go actually very fast very aggressive that they might just finish you off before you actually get to play so having this kind of card is actually saving your day sometimes but um, it depends on how many you actually use and uh, he's also using the prevent second or more times attack with the same unit one uh, so I think it's just like a two box thing but uh, you might not be actually using this that often anymore with the current matter that's what I think yeah and let's look into uh, other units so it's still uh, grade 2's build without great ones so uh, when you're thinking of actually making Sogar mask build then you might consider are uh, you going for a uh, front row based build or you can afford yourself to actually have some kind of back row. Yeah, 
because our deck space is very very tight in the past what we need to do is having one of our main vanguard in your right deck and three more maximum but and you can even cut it uh in your right deck uh, in your main deck right but now with soga mask you need to put four so that's one extra slot that you are going in for and the gray two it of course is great card that allows you to not only pick up the mask but also generate a dragon tree marker but other than that this card is just a 10k staying there your shadow cloak worst or worst is still a very good card to pick up your resources like if you use your over trigger to guard you can just bring it back and then shadow cloak can pick it back up same with the normal pgs but with this once you use it up it's just gone you just probably just intercept it and hope that you don't need to worry about that card anymore um, or even just as a fodder for your kill to actually hit so uh yeah but you can see here the two masks is probably a more usual way of playing the deck uh, and the order setup is actually kind of similar to what i'm thinking of right now that you still have e rendering so if whenever we need uh tearful malice of course this to have you increase the drop this allows you to um, call something from drop and add some power and what interesting is this this i actually don't see a lot of people playing which you can kind of last one to play this and look at top five and then uh get up to one card that is higher or equal to your vanguard grade we will add to your hand and discard the rest this one is a great zero order so you can basically use it anytime uh, and you can use it to actually grab your mask you can grab your personal ride um, of course if you are on lower grade like if you're on grade one then you can search your grade two and higher or even just grade one if you're on grade two you can search grade two or higher so uh, it's not a bad card and sometimes you are just kind of worry on how are you going to increase your drop zone so this is one card that helps you to actually make that happen so uh, it's not a bad card but it's just not a very aggressive card but because we are actually playing soga mask whenever you do elgar magic it's a plus 10k to the front row so you don't need to like keep using miasma to actually pump the power and keep thinking about that you have more rooms to think of using two orders that are completely not aggressive at all like a mix of uh, a mask and this it's still a thing right as long as you can do elka magic and then you can bring out your christian dragon you can just 10k to your front row that's it that is enough of a threat to start with and then what you need to do is just depending on what you get right and then you can start seeing fronts being using here i personally i personally like a uh, front still uh even the draw i can see the potential to uh just getting the cards we need but front actually saved me a lot because uh when you draw into a draw that is not being a draw trigger so what i mean is you start your turn you draw a card right and you draw into a draw trigger compared to you start your turn draw into your front trigger what is better of course it's a front because uh, it is a 20k shield when your opponent is a great free or hard and usually with the current meta great free is already going, trying to go into a kill turn or making you a suffer turn right so something like a 20k shield is actually helping you so much whenever like you're facing two prison dragons and they just hit you hard they hit you for 25 say and you're on great two you're on 10k 15 k shield is not enough but 20k shield is it is right so that already saved your day um and 10k shield you just need to place two of them so that's another hurting point and 
you might need to just go with a 15k plus 5k shield because you don't want to drop in a 10k plus 5 plus 5 right that's even more resources that you need to give up uh, and we have shadow cloak to actually pick this up so it's really something that is good to use so i personally still prefer uh front trigger yeah so that's probably it i need to tell about this list i think Mm, yeah if you have a, if you have any kind of questions on specific lists you can also comment down below to let me know uh, i can see if i can answer them again i'm not a uh, deck builder so i might not have all the answers for you but i will try next it's also a blue soccer build um, but this time we can see a mix of the grade 2 and the cow the cow you actually don't need that much some people like to play a lot but uh, you can just simply put it in your drop zone and bring it back and then just generate a Dragon Tree Marker and call it a day. The Shadow Coat you can see is like still the key. Prison Dragon is still the key. Uh, yeah, basically. And still using draws. And also the anti crit heal trigger. But let's look at the order lineup. No Yi Rendering Souls. But this, I do far away. This is a free order while having a great buff to one of your units, usually a boost, and that is why you will need to use a cow. Because uh, if for some reason you already have a ranger chain, that might help you out. But who knows? If it gets bind somehow. You never know what's going to happen or get sent to the bottom of the deck. You still have at least a backup with a cow to uh, do some stuff. And you can just kind of last one, so last one to pick up this and Elka Magic. So, uh, the order C is kind of more flexible, but you can see it's using four of this card. It needs to, like, you need to do it better soul control but luckily because you're using blue soccer so you don't uh, actually need to worry about your soul too much but with red soccer you already need to soul buff one so yeah so that's nothing too much more we need to talk about this list because uh when we actually look into soga mask list some of the cards are basically fixed like uh, dragon tree generation depending on what you Put in but usually is a free to four slots the kills uh, are usually like a one to two so that you can just get them into the drop zone on time uh, shadow talk is a bank cell and then triggers and some orders so yeah let's go into the next list this one now this is also a no great one build so you can see uh, compared to like the past that we run like the amp we run like uh, the head rock hunter now we are not running any of those uh, and then during three generation people in japanese like to use the grade 2 a lot more uh, i have to say i tried it quite a few times with grade 2 is okay but to me it's a little bit more cost heavy but but um because you want to get your mask on time so that is something that um, you kind of want to guarantee so it's more of a mindset thing that if you are preparing to actually use your mask from your hand as an outcome magic card then you probably will be using this but if your mindset is like as long as the mask is in the drop zone I am fine kind of thing then you just need to rely on shadow poke and then use your cow to generate the dragon tree marker so it's up to you which kind of ways that you prefer but there are many ways to actually like do different things with the same deck right and then we can see the draw trigger usage here uh free mask so uh it's actually up to you how many masks that you want uh because i can't imagine it will be expensive in the english side too uh, in JP, 
we already suffer with the price already. Uh, that my side is lucky that we get one FR seven the rares, and then I bought myself another FR. So sharing with friends, I have four masks to just be flexible to use in every single deck I am planning to build. But of course, I need, still need to switch it around. But since I'm only using two for now, that at least two decks can just use them right so yeah and then tier 4 malice and this and uh <coughs> this of course uh is a very useful card still that allows you to draw one so one for one and you get to look in the top deck so if it's a trigger put on top if it's not a trigger you hope you just drop it uh, but again you can see that not a lot of aggressive orders is being used for attacking. This one didn't even use me as mine at all. So this this is a search card. This is a recovering card. This is a kind of a search and call out card. This one is a <clears throat> also kind of a search card. All right. So it's more focusing on getting yourself enough resources instead of plus power to bash your opponent's heart. So that's one of the mindset change um, with Sogamas being into play. But also it's because Sogamas is so easy to gain power that personal ride plus doing Elko Magic is already plus 20k. So people might think, okay, I will just save some resources for other stuff, right? Your Soul Blast can all use into Shadow Cloak to allow you to pick up all your PGs pick up all your over triggers so you can keep surviving every single turn and as long as you survive you have orders to play you can do elka magic you can fight back yeah but one of the important thing here is actually using free kill so uh this is very very uh, interesting way of using this card Be because i I am like in a mood that I actually want to cut it to one to like okay if it happens it's great if it's not it's not because uh I don't want to actually rely on this as a game plan I want it to be a good to have but if you are playing free I think you're very desperate to actually make that happen uh, but it's up to you if you want to try free you can do it and this is probably one of the build that you can do as a use as a reference next Okay, so now we are getting into the Red Soger build. So you can see uh, this is basically one of the idea that I'm talking about. That you are not using the Great 2 Dragon Tree. You rely on a Great 1 cow. And if by chance you have your mask in your hand, you can just do it. If not, you will just do Shadow Cloak to put it down. And then you will go into your Soger mask. And as long as you have your cow, you will have your Dragon Tree marker. Then you can act activate your Q when your Sogamas attacks and yeah and also using the front so I have to say this build is actually quite similar to mine uh, except that I'm still trying to be creative with my grade 2 right line uh, because with rest Sogar you actually do have a lot of flexibility on your grade 2 uh, right line they can do a lot of things but uh, we can see people are actually using the Hush Dragon still because picking up a order uh, allows you to be more flexible with your choices. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the rest, I think that's all I need to tell. But this, I'm not too sure too is a good thing or not for some build. Because like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orders that you can play, right? Uh, you do need to be very, very careful on using this card because you will run out of orders if you don't control yourself very well. Um, so de do be careful about that. I'm only using one, one because I do have other uh, cards that make things happen. So yeah, do allow me to test my builds a little bit more in order to show you guys. But it will be slightly different to what you see. But the idea is very similar to this one. 
Okay, the finalist from the deluxe is also a red soldier. But this one you can see a mix of the grade 2 and the grade 1 dragon tree units. And this one is using one kill. So you can see here is that he doesn't actually mind not having this. He can rely on free attacks. And if the fourth one actually happened, great. And this is also a card that I am uh, putting into my decks with Solver. Uh, and I like that a lot. Which is basically go back to the previous one that if we are running out of orders, what can we do? This is a helpful hand. So the beauty, uh, when you have uh, this card appears on your Riga circle, you can put all the cards from your buying zone to your drop zone. And for each card you put, plus 5. So she's already can be a very big beast deck as a booster. And also allows you to put orders back into your drop zone from your buying zone. Which means you can use your cow to pick one up. Usually you have two or more orders being buy when you use this card, right? So you already can pick one up and use the other one to do Elga Magic. So this is a very uh, simple combo. And this card is she's a 7k. So you can just simply just drop her down using your uh, right deck without any issue. Uh, and then when you need her, you bring her up. Yeah, the rest is probably quite standard again, uh, using draw triggers, I still prefer fronts, but the choice is yours. Two mask, one of the holy grail, interesting, uh, I don't see a lot of people actually using holy grail anymore. Uh, especially when you need to soul blast a lot of cards, this might not be a good option for you, but um, I think the holy grail can still be a backup plan when you don't have your mask to actually go into your Zoga mask or you just don't see your Zoga mask at all it happens even if you put 4 then this is actually another way of pumping your front line as a personal line right so it's still something that you can consider uh, and then the main order to use is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so you need to be very careful when you're using your E-Mandering Souls. Um, one more card that I'm trying to slot in with my Soga decks is actually the Defensive Order. Uh, because this card, as long as you are willing to play a more uh, kind of just one type of order in a deck thing, this can be a very good defensive card. But it will contrast with your order PG because they are both placed order and you can you only use one order per turn. So this requires you to actually uh, have a little bit more uh, thoughts on actually using what card. So this will burn your brain power a lot more when you're using this card. But this can just basically a soul plus one shield value plus a draw. And that sometimes is just what enough because we are when we are losing usually we are just one card sword and this card might actually break you that so um, it's a very good defensive play and you just need to do it right <laughs> you just need to do it right but unfortunately you can't pick up with this so uh, do be careful do be careful all right so after the deluxe list, let's look into other uh, different lists that I've prepared. Right. So, this one is from Ryo. So, he is one of the famous uh, Japanese players as well. Uh, just being in the competitive scene. So, this is his uh, Soccer build. You can see uh, Headhunter is actually being used here. Uh, and this is blue soccer uh the orders are uh, only one boss free miasma uh this one is the uh, pot of great draw frozen resentment this one is the counter boss one bind itself to pick up two orders from the drop zone this is also a card that i'm actually using on my build through testing um and then this draw one ditch one or put on top Tearful Malice, Shadow Poke, PGs. So 
when you look at this list, is uh, he also used it in the Yokohama WGP Deluxe, and he he's actually doing three ones, so that's pretty good, right? And when you look at this list, it's so classic. It's like, oh my god, these units are basically like j just the early release, and this one is basically like the upgraded GDR, and this one is just like uh, spiritual body condensation, right? So. Uh, very classic, rely on free attacks, no kills, no dragon tree marker at all, no dragon tree marker at all, and uh, I, yeah, it's just basically the idea is I put the mask in the drop zone and let's go into Soga Mask whenever the time is right and just play the card classic, right? So if you just like have a lot of old cards and you're thinking of what you can do to uh, make a Sogramas deck to start with this is something that you can consider because the new cards are basically just these right and the Sogramas that's basically it so if you are like I haven't been playing for a few sets and I just want to come in uh, I don't want to find the red Sogra stuff but you need to find this but I think it's alright isn't that hard to find what you can do is kind of like this yeah so very interesting build next one this one is from uh, Isumo so this is also uh, one of the famous sword player in JP uh, yeah so when you are looking for soccer build, you probably will uh, come into this build one day uh, he went into the Yamanogami VGCS uh, using Sogar. His score is 7 2 uh, in third place. And uh, what he said is the lost that he usually have is like a uh, Elker Magic issue. <laughs> So maybe it's like time that he can't actually do Elka magic at all, no matter it's the resources or what. But one reason is basically here, you can see it. one, two, three, four, five, six. If you really the PG is only seven orders. So uh wait, uh seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine orders actually. My bad. But the kind of usable orders are eight. So it can be tight and there are free kills. Uh, and draws and then the rest are pretty solid that again using a great one cow uh, I did try a like a 10 to 11 order build and I still kind of having some issue with Elgar Magic this probably is more on my mindset that I need to uh, stay a little bit ahead of time to think of what will happen uh, that's also reflecting to all of you who are going to actually make a soccer build be careful yeah and the rest is probably quite solid and one mask again that this kind of build usually just doesn't matter as long as the time right i would drop the mask to the drop zone and just do it without actually need to search it okay next so this is also a blue soccer build and also using girl so i might actually give it a try uh, but let's see and the ore is being used two of the mask uh two of the miasma one e rendering souls one tearful malice uh two frozen resentment one of the ideal uh, far away so one two three four five six seven eight nine so probably a kind of standard number that you're looking for will be like 9 to 10 orders uh, to put into the soccer deck including the uh, PG so you can just put it aside put 16 triggers inside put your right deck aside then you just think of what you need to put in probably that will be uh, a easier startup if you are like have no idea on soccer at all then this will be a formula that you can go in and then you know your limited slots then you can just keep trying different cards. Free Shadow Cloaks. I think that's fine as well. Uh, Dragon Tree, Grade 2 and Grade 1, 2 each. Uh, 2 Mask. 
So usually when you don't play uh, just one mask, you are aiming for actually getting it into your hand and probably use it from hand. Yeah. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. Lastly, that's the last list that I'm going to uh, show you guys and then I'll conclude this video, which is from uh, one of the most famous soccer competitive player uh, Kagami Hayate. So I actually have been playing against this list with uh, I think it's before he changed into this version. But uh, he is a very again a very famous player and he got his own YouTube channel. So if you want to follow him up, you can. Uh, yeah, he do share different like soccer builds. He share some fight videos on with, when, with him using the soccer build. So you can actually see he's playing on like which kind of timing, uh, doing what kind of uh, plays. And uh, he is very fast with his uh, secret rares uh, soccer mask. I so far can only find one, but he already got all. Yeah, so look into ours they're 10 and you can see we are playing just one each uh this is a draw this is a pickup uh ideal far away the shields so you can see here this is uh making you a lot more easier to actually use this right and the beauty the kill uh is here so um, now, one thing that you probably noticed is here. The grade 2 slot of your right deck is actually a Dragon Tree unit. Now, uh, that is why I say your when you're playing Red Soger, your grade 2 right line is actually your 2 box. It's up to you what you want to play. You don't need to play your Hust Dragon at all. In the past, he's using the Flower Girl to Soul Charge 2. Now he's using this, that he is minimizing what he needs to uh, do the Q play with minimal cards. Because you will worry about drawing into this, you worry about getting this in your drop zone. He doesn't need to worry about that at all. Because based on this list, he can just do free attacks for 99% of his games and without any problem at all and when the Q is here because you have this card in your right deck meaning you can have this card go into your drop zone anytime you want any moment you want as long as you soul blast it right so once you soul blast this card what you need to do is to just use your miasma use your this um, or even use your soul grab skill to bring it back up and you have your uh dragon tree marker right so uh that's all you need to make this play to happen but most of the time you will just rely on the uh, prison dragon and this will win your games and front is important again that's why uh i'm also kind of having a similar build to this one that I didn't use the draw, maybe I will consider. Uh, the grade 2 slot, I'm still thinking of what I am like hoping to achieve. I tried it using the shark, it's kind of meh. Uh, it's a good card when you don't have your prison dragon, which actually happens. Uh, but I'm still testing different things, or maybe I will just go back to the Hust dragon. It's again up to you. With Red Soger, what I really love is the grade 2 slots being flexible. Then you can just slot in any kind of toolbox card that helps you to do your game plan, do your plays, uh, and you just be happy with it being able to go into the drop zone anytime you want. Yeah. Uh, and also the DM. So DM is helping you to pick up a lot of cards that you need. It can be any kind of shield value that you're looking for. PGs, uh, it can be a personal ride so that you can pick up with the Shadow Cloak, and more importantly, is a 
power adjustment on your person dragon because they are usually on the fives so it's like 5 15 25 35 45 whatever five and this one is actually passing you plus 13k so just this the base will be 18 and then what you will do is just plus up 18 28 38 48 58 and goes on uh, so once it get into the eight marks it requires more than just a 15k shield right it, except the first very just simple 18 right but that usually won't happen right and also with Q because it's a 5k so it's just basically the same uh, calculation with a prison dragon uh, just usually 10k less yeah so the use of the end is very helpful I just don't find a slot for now maybe I will later but uh, there's a few things I want to try for example I like to use the cow so the cow is probably replacing these and then the order selection do I actually want to use the holy grail do I want to use something else it's more of a personal choice um, but yeah when I do the deck profile you will see it but uh, I still need to test it out sometimes uh, hopefully this weekend that when you see this video I'm actually testing and I'm, I can get it ready but uh, I do have some other decks that I already scheduled to show you guys and I'd rather take more time to actually test on my soger uh, so yeah and yeah that's probably it I need to talk about all these decks uh, you can see very different variations whenever your mindset is different like this you don't need to rely on a dragon tree marker at all uh, this build you don't need to rely on your dragon tree marker at all and some builds are actually using two or more cues because they want to focus on the dragon tree marker play so and of course the difference between red and blue soccer is another thing uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you can uh, think with Sogar, there's a lot of things that you can choose when using Sogar, and it's a very happy moment for all of the our uh, Sogar players that we get some good support, uh, and just having good support makes so much difference. You see so many deck lists appearing in uh, WGP Deluxe in a competitive scene by just having some decent support. So. It can be generic support, but when we have like one to two card generic support, it doesn't change a lot. But when you have a Sogar focused upgrade, you just make so much change. It allows you to keep thinking every single day, every single week on like how to upgrade, how to make it your personalized uh, Sogar build. And of course the orders. Every single person have their own uh, ratios, have their own uh, kind of preference order to use and that's all makes soccer so much fun uh yeah so i do hope this can be a good guide to you it's a very long video because i have gone over quite a few decks uh, and if you have any questions on any of the list please feel free to let me know i try to find you an answer uh, of course again i'm not the deck builder so i might not have all the answers for you and uh, I can only share with you what I think when I look at this list. Uh, yeah. And since I will be uh, going to Japan for uh, the Manga Fest, so I'm hoping to actually see some of these players, uh, especially uh, Kagami Hayate, which uh, I have been uh, playing with him online through Discord, like through time to time. So. Uh, do hope that I can actually meet him up uh, and maybe we can do some recordings as well depending on uh, our schedules yeah so that's it for me today there's a lot of things that you need to swallow probably uh, but again let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below uh, also let me know do you like this kind of uh, analyze video analysis video that 
it's more on a soccer focus because uh, I rather spend time on soccer and back economy than something that I might not have full knowledge about that I'm not like uh, playing a lot with so yeah when I do uh, analysis video it'll probably be mega colony focus or soccer focus yeah so yeah if you like to see more also give me a subscribe uh, so let me know you are supporting uh, like the video also showing your support and yeah that's it for me today uh, hope you enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video signing off